Hello everyone and welcome. This is my video on the custom RepRap printer that I built about a year ago for the Midwest RepRap Festival. Since then, I've had about a year to do many modifications on it and design choices that I think that have made this printer a truly great machine. I hope you enjoy this. Here's the Y-axis and the base of the printer. It's made out of plywood and it stores the electronics and the power supply. The Y-axis rods are actually taken from an inkjet printer, which is really a great thing. It's recyclable, I guess. <laughs> this is the hot end. It's an E3D V6 clone with a 0.2 millimeter nozzle. I get very precise prints off this and I'm very happy with it. This is the also the direct drive extruder that I modeled based off of someone else's design. And really, I, I never understood how important direct drive was, but I'm happy I made the switch. This is a demonstration of the spool holder attached to the Z-axis support. The Z-axis support is very important for the whole machine and makes it very, very rigid. It's held with two printed brackets, and it's made of 15-15 extrusion. The spool holder does, does its job also. This is the Y-axis motor, and it's held by two bearings, which just split the belt and put it where it needs to be so that it's parallel. The in-stop switch is a little bit jerry-rigged, but it works. And the rest of the Y-axis is very rigid and smooth. Here's some of the prints that I'm getting off of the machine, which are very, very mind-blowing, actually. This is an Aristotle bust that I got by doing photogrammetry on a statue that I had. The camera really doesn't do this justice, but you can't even see the layer lines at 0.1 millimeters uh, until you look very closely. But the, all the details were very preserved, and it, I was very, very happy with the, the way that this turned out. A 0.2 millimeter nozzle and a direct drive extruder point, uh, together really make it shine. This is an impeller that's actually printed in TPU, flexible filament, and <clears throat> again, very, very nice. It's, it's a little bit warped because I've been playing with it, but the fact that it turned out like that it, because it's flexible really shows the capabilities of a direct drive extruder. This is the print that really just blew my, it blew my mind. It's a small octopus, and as you can see, it fits on the tip of my finger, and it looks perfect. I mean, I, the fact that one of the legs broke when it was popping off the build plate is the only problem I have with it, but if you can see it, it, it's perfect and blew my mind. These are some Nautilus gears I printed, and the fact that they printed was outstanding, but the fact that it works, I mean, it, it was just, I couldn't believe it. So, there's a demonstration of that. This is the bottom of a T-Rex jaw, you've all seen the famous file on Thingiverse. And the top of the, the top half of the model actually snaps in just perfectly, and most of the details were preserved. The overhangs were a little bit tricky, but it ended up working. Again, very, very small, tip of my finger size. And here's another statue that I did photogrammetry as a test on, and the model uh, was printed perfectly. I also did some experimentations with CD drive lenses to make small microscopes. And this was just a little case that had to be precise, and it worked very nicely. So, Overall, I'm very happy with this machine. Again, it's taken me about a year to get to this point, but I'm extremely pleased with the way that it's turned out. The prints I'm getting it from, from it are phenomenal. It's probably one of my best machines, um, and the fact that I, I did design it from scratch, was it kind of showed that, uh, well, it gave me confidence that I can build more machines that are even better than this one. But um, to anyone who hasn't built their own rep wrap yet, here's just encouragement that you can do it. It's, it's doable. It takes work. It takes time and effort to design something like this. And there are quite a bit more problems that you'll run into uh, versus just a kit or a pre-made machine. But I'd highly recommend it. It's, I'm very proud of my machine, and I think you'll be very prideful of yours also. So... Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope I'll see you at the RepRap Festival this year if you're going. I'll be taking this and a few other projects, so stay tuned for those videos also. Thank you.